So, let's continue. Uh, yeah. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. We go to continue now. This is part of, uh, a lengthier stream, so, you know, I split it into two parts, so the VOD doesn't become super long. Love Nintendo soundtracks consistently 10 out of 10. They are, I just kind of wish they'd make them available on streaming services, or at the very least, I don't know, let other YouTube ta channels have them, instead of just going after everyone. I'm, I'm saddened. Nintendo business side, 0 out of 10. Yeah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Those things are funny. I mean, I've, I've said this before. Nintendo makes... Some of my favorite games of all time. So many cherished memories with them, but man. Sometimes it sucks to be a fan of the stuff. Oh. Well, that's fine. You know what game I'm really looking forward to after this? I mean, the one next in line is Minish Cap. And that's another one that I played a very long time ago. Haven't played it since. Don't really remember much of it, but I know that I enjoyed it quite a bit. So yeah, Minish Cap is after this one. I think. Pretty set. Pretty certain. What is a Minish? I mean, tiny person? The premise of that game is that you could go tiny. That's what I, that's what I remember. Oh, right, don't go in the river. Okay. That one had a cool art style. Now what do? Hang on. Turn around. I'll try and turn around. Because it looks like the water is rushing too much to be able to go forward this way. Maybe we're just overcomplicating it. You can just... Yep. <laughs> there it is. No, it's because I didn't make the jump the first couple of times. Don't worry, don't mind me. I'm gonna do multiple things that is going to make your inner child scream. Like that. Oh no, that's... You can really hear the struggle. Ah! 
That's what kept happening to me. I kept launching myself into the stupid river. There's nothing worse than thinking you're not going the right way because of failed attempts, so you give up, but that was the right way. I'm not too bad at that sort of stuff. Because I grew up with these kind of games, I, uh, I tend to try more than once. More than a couple times, really. Probably more times than I should. I don't think there's anything wrong with trying too much. I'd rather try too much than give up too easily. Soundtrack's cool. <laughs> it's not like the other foresty temples. Uh, okay, game. Apparently I can't reach that high. This island has your favorite inhabitants. We shall see them then. I mean, if it's the great tree, it's gotta be, uh... The Koroks? Are they the Koroks? I can't remember, but like... Breath of the Wild did the Korok so dirty. Oh, really? Why? What's wrong with the Breath of the Wild Koroks? Aside from the fact that there are 900s of them. <laughs> Guess I just... Oh. Ugh. Oh, no. that there are nearly a thousand of them and they make the exact same sound. You can still hear that laugh. Oh, nah -ha -ha. That sound? Hey. What are you doing, Link? Quickly, you must jolt those creatures off the Deku's tree. Do you not know how to knock them down? Uh... Use my head. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I want this. I want the jelly. His facial expressions. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a lounging for an age gone by. The longing cause 
the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of these foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess? I see. I knew there was a reason. The monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods. This traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Oh, but... Uh, you know, when you said that they did them dirty, I thought maybe they were going to look different. But they're the same. Visually the same. Ugh. I got myself an ice cold drink. It's so good in the heat. Ugh. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took human forms, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished children. As it happens, you may have come just in time for a ceremony that Koroks hold, but once every year, it is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not to be completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We, we are not a great Deku tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Maka! Maka! What is the matter, Linda? You and Maka are always late. No, no, no. It is not that, oh great Deku tree. Maka fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our Forest Haven. Those woods, the whole region, is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Blink. I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children, yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. What's he doing? Oh, that looked painful. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did that look so painful? Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from there? It's 16 degrees and your cat is on the blanket, so you can't use it. Aw. I mean, in that case, like, I just typically wear hoodies and thick clothing. Okay. Really? I'm kind of surprised you can't. Oh, they still got the rattling sound as well. Do they still make the sound? They don't. Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wasn't facing the right direction. What? Like this? It doesn't reach far enough. Tilt the stick? Which stick? I was. Okay, maybe I wasn't doing it hard enough. I swear that maybe there's something wrong with this analog stick, because... It seems to stop short sometimes, even though I'm holding it, like, as hard as I can. Camera, please turn the other way. I don't want to do this like this. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, I see. You got to use the left one, not the right one, to rotate. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to go into that? <laughs> yep. Okay, fine. There we go. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. You just tilt L in any direction and land safely back in the barber bud. Ah, I need to hook. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I never shot it! <laughs> oh no. At the door again. Uh, okay. Okay. In we go. In we go. Dude. Why am I so bad at this? It's so rigid. It feels like a Castlevania jump, like classic Castlevania. I think just not being able to adjust the camera and unless you're like inside it, I don't particularly enjoy it. Like, it's not working the way I thought it would, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> okay. Again! I just can't believe I ever shot it. That seemed very precise. If I have too much momentum, I overshoot it! Oh, 
was so worried there. <laughs> Ah, okay. You got the Deku Leaf. Alright. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the current of the wind. Swordsman, over here. Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Okay, so, uh, items, oops, there we go. So, do I just jump and press Y? Like, okay. Uh-oh, 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 grab, grab, <laughs> grab. Why didn't you grab? Oh, I'm out of magic. Okay, hang on. Drop. I said drop. Okay. Oh my god. Why didn't you grab the ledge? Okay. Go. I don't. I don't like these things. <laughs> I don't like them. They just feel so clunky. Get it? Got it? Got it. Okay. so much. Okay. Dude. I almost messed that up. I'm not even done yet. Do I have to go further up? I have to go further up, don't I? Wait, I'm supposed to go down there. Okay, look. Oh, at the very least, this was harder to get to. So I want to see what's out here. Oh. Okay. Alright. 
Please be worth it. <laughs> I don't think that was worth it. Um, you know, it could have at least given me a way back. Like a, a magical teleport pad or something. Now I'm kind of on this isolated island with no way back. I guess just glide back. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Am, am I just screwed? Wait, there's a boat that can save me. Save me! Come back. Come back. Come back! Beetle, please. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is horrific. <laughs> oh, come on. I always made it. Okay, it does put me back here. That is tragic. This dick didn't stop. Could he not hear me yelling? Oh no, I just... something just dawned on me. <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> I already hate this island. Something just dawned on me. Would you like to take a guess what it is? I'll give me a hint, I'm not gonna like it. I suppose this is what I get for not paying attention to instructions, huh? Grab the island! Grab the island! Grab the island! <laughs> Thing. Having a stroke or something? What's what's wrong with me? 
Why am I not making these simple jumps? I've had a long day. I would have had a conniption if I didn't. Anyway, this is what I, I, I'm not gonna like. I have to do this again. Because I didn't go to the Korok. So I'm gonna have to climb this, this whole thing again. I feel like I don't have to climb this whole thing, like, I can, I can just... <laughs> Hang on. Oh my god! I hate these- I hate these pods so much. I feel like with this one I can just do this. I can just ignore this and go here. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the deck completely. <laughs> but since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being helped. Please take care of Makar. Congratulations, swordsman. It appears you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf. That eerie-looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makara is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over the, to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But when you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. Oh. What is that? It's like... So that's right. That doesn't seem right. Hang on. It should be just north. Hmm? 
I think it should be... Hang. This is an awkward camera rotation. I think I need to head to that spot first. Yeah, and now if I... Okay. No! No! Will this help? Oh. <laughs> I released it too. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm on the island. Never mind. Nice job, swordsman. Looks like you've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around to replenish your magic power. The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our forest haven. In order to get to such a place, you'll have to catch the swirling updraft. Can you see the updraft swordsmen? The updrafts around here move swiftly. You'll have to time your jump just right. Okay. Oh, no, well, yeah, no. Is that correct? No. There we go. I wish you could rotate the camera, but it's all good. I missed it. I have to try again. Okay, try again, try again. I have to go sooner. Yeah, out of we go. I guess I can't collide with these things. Oh no, I released it too early again. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I think I'm okay though. Did it put me back here? No. Oh, alright, alright, alright. I don't like the sound because it just makes me think back to the Breath of the Wild. Like, I think there's a Korok nearby. I mean, there is one, but... Jeez. Oh, I had to course correct. <laughs> okay. There we go. Was that so hard? Okay, we're here. Ooh. Ominous.
least thanks. Oh no, I destroyed the nut. I didn't mean to do that. Was it? Okay. Oh no, it's more of these. too heavy with the sword. Looks familiar. Too low. Oh, there's another one over here. Seems like most of the stuff in this dungeon is going to be oriented around blowing things down. Hold on. Why do you have to rotate the camera back? No, wait, you can't go any further?
What? Okay, there's, there's a chest here. Can I bring this up with me? No. Doesn't matter if you blow up multiple times. It only ever reaches this far. Okay, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but whatever. <laughs> We're here. Okay, pick it up. Put it down. Ugh, all right. I was gonna say, this looks a little too straightforward. Kind of lucky that didn't happen whilst on, I was on the uh, the barge thing. That I didn't blow the nuts off. We've got living branches here. What's that sound? Oh. Yeah, that doesn't seem- Gah! Yeah. 
I want I want the chest, but like this is bad. Expect them to drain my life. Alright, there we go. Just like the dungeon ocarina, except instead of fire, it's the plant. The way to approach this is to... I was gonna say cut the grass so then you have a path, but... Those things eat the fuck out of you, yep. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No, hang on. If I just, uh... How am I supposed to do this? God, oh, it still works. Did that work? Yes, yeah, sorry. So I just gotta go around again. Once, I was gonna say, once you cut a path for yourself, it's a lot easier. Out. 
uh, I'm getting awfully close to my neck. Should I be worried? Is the gamepad screen just inventory management? Yeah, and the map. That's it. If I had a pro controller, I'd be using it, and then you'd probably see it in this UI, but... Wait, there was a... No. I should be going here first. Going the other way. It'll be interesting to see what these things are for. What are you? That was, uh, that was some dodging on my part. So annoying. Can I pick him up? No. Can't pick him up. Thought you could. Oops. I think I need that. <laughs> okay, let's just go through here. Maybe there's something I can use over here. Oh. Uh-oh. Hi, friend. I like this music already. I have to wait for a window here. <laughs> Just keep spamming leap stab. What did we get? Surprise we got like a hook shot before a boomerang. It's usually the other way around. 
Okay, uh, put that there. Okay. You know, immediately, this is the tutorial here. And how do you do it? It's... Oh, you just point it. That's it. There's no lock on. It's just point it and it auto locks on. Imagine this now is how I do it, is with the boomerang instead of having to throw stuff. Making a big mistake here. Yeah. Okay. and we just drop. Hmm. That looks like an eye to me. Probably not good swimming in that. Maybe that's just the way back up. Draining my magic. Oh. You know, I probably should have waited <laughs> to get that chest. Hopefully, it's not too late. It's too late. I didn't I did not think that through. Oh wait, I think I know what's gonna happen. Or not. Oh, 
Uh, okay. It's fine. No, wait, no, it's not. There, now you can't get out. Oh, come on! <laughs> Where are these things coming from? Nice camera. distance. Ah! Oh, I got debated. I thought that was one of those flowers that you could fly with. No, you want to. Come here. Come here. I think it's stuck. <laughs> I don't think it can go any further. Time to go up. I really wish the camera wouldn't rotate on this. When you go into it, it just automatically spins the camera around. Despite the direction you're facing. This thing has to be destroyed. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to have it ruin the plans. Come here. <laughs> I, just, I just can't get rid of it. Stop. 
No, oh wait, other way! That's <laughs> so clunky. have to jump in there. I'm so tired of this thing. No! <laughs> That's so annoying. I can't, I can't destroy it any other way. I have to use the sword. Link is quite verbal. <laughs> I mean, compared to Breath of the Wild, sure. Okay, now we're on this side. I thought it was going to be the boss key, but then again, maybe some of these do lead to, uh, heart pieces. Who can say? This is all this room was about. Just this. Oh, the flower grew, grew back. Okay, hang on. Now I know. gross just looking at it. They're parasitic arms. I think I have to get all of them at once maybe. as these things keep growing. Maybe I just have to run past. <laughs> they keep growing.
Hmm. Ah. Yep, that's an X. Uh... It looks like there's more to do before we do that. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Gyro AM is awkward. <laughs> Please don't be on the timer. <laughs> That's the twerking, uh... I don't know, what are these things? The Coblins, Moblins, one of them. Mine. Okay, I can see the downside to this weapon. It's just too big to swing. For it to be any real practicality to it. Oops. Yep. <laughs> what am I doing? There we go. Jeez. direction anyway. Okay, so the boss is on the second floor. What? Oh, I, I see what I'm supposed to do. Dungeon's pretty long. <laughs> that was easy. Excuse me. We're here. I wonder why it gives me this. Okay, maybe there's no reason. I thought maybe I would bring it in. It's gonna be a parasite, that's what I imagined. Every time he brings out his teeth, 
just looks so wrong. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be, based on the arms, it was going to be like this parasitic creature. Okay, I was not expecting this, though. be that many more left. There we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was probably not the best idea on my part. I'm on the rolled out of that. I thought I did anyway. I'm just moving the control pad like a maniac. <laughs> if you could see me, it looks ridiculous. Because the Wii U gamepad is so awkward, the right analog stick is above the, uh, the buttons. So it's under what circumstance would I be able to move the right thumbstick? It's just poorly designed. Left thumbstick, fair enough, but the right one really should be below the XYBA buttons, but it's above for some reason. Like, I, I don't understand that. It's just so awkward. Relatching, it's relatching. Oh my god, it's relatching. Ugh, got it. I think this dungeon was even more straightforward than the previous one. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, the, that's right. Today is the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Let 
let's go quickly. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makar, you are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I promise you. Please accept it. <laughs> you love Makar, why? Because... It's like a, a tiny little bit of a little bit of a chubby Korok, I guess. Baby. Well maybe not chubby, but just the shape is more circular. So I don't know what you would interpret that as. Okay, you receive Farora's Pearl. The Earth Spirit of the Deku Tree has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Farora. Rotund? Yeah, that's that's the word, rotund. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Oh, great Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. <laughs> that violin. Hope you enjoy it. Playing with instruments, the si violin, cello, whatever. <laughs> Why does it sound like a bagpipe then? Riddle me this. It sounds like a wind instrument as opposed to a string instrument. The great, oh, great Decatru, this year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. But these seeds will continue to spread new forests across the great sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, great swordsmen. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Nintendo do what the fuck they want, that's why. Well, then, there's no need to correct it. It's like... My answer may have not been correct, but it's still... Even the correct answer is still wrong. Every year after the Koroks perform the ceremony, they fly off to distant islands on the sea and plant my seeds in the hope that new forests will grow. Forests hold great power. They can change one tiny island into a much larger land. Soon a day will come when all the islands are one, connected by earth and grove. And the people who live on that great island will be able to join hands and together create a better world. Such is my dream. But the one you are chasing is trying to prevent that dream from ever coming to pass. Link. Already your fate is tied to the fate of this world. You must proceed with great care. Uh. Oh, he didn't lift me high enough. It's okay, there's an exit behind me. So I'd assume I'm done with this island now. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna have to backtrack. Oh, 
for now. Wait, what is, what is that over there? There's someone with a ladder? Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the... Guess I have to go check that out. <laughs> I wish I would have known beforehand. It's okay. Now I gotta go back. I hate this island. <laughs> I hate this island so much. Wait, is there something behind the waterfall? No, I think that's just the ledge. I think that's just the ledge. Even if there was, like, I would need iron boots or something. do this one more time to get the height and then I have to figure out where I need to head. But I'd have to get as high as I can get. It's super cold. You'll trade cold for some heat. I would do that if I could. annoyed at this thing. <laughs> Words can't describe like how <sighs> how weird it is. Just you'll know it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at it, but you can't you have to rotate the camera before it shoots and then once you're in the air you can only really hold up or the direction you're heading in. Like you can't fine tune it. It's a very rigid jump. Like, if you've ever played any of the original Castlevania games, that's exactly how it feels like. It's like, once you start, you can't really course correct that much. Get as high as I can, I'm gonna take some weed. The what? No, not, not, I would never discuss such a thing that's not legal. We never do that sort of stuff here. <laughs> that noise I made, if it sounds like the creeper from Minecraft, I, I don't know. I mean, I've gotten multiple things. It's like creeper from Minecraft, Donald Duck dying, uh, golem from Lord of the Rings. Gotten it all. 
have I ever played Bowser's Inside Story? I have not, but I have a copy of it. Let me just look out here first. It's on the to-do list. I mean, I want to play Superstar Saga. The jumping in that game is awful. Oh, I've played games with awful jumping. You're incredible. Did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly, do you think maybe you can hit that switch over there? How huh, can you? Huh? Can't you see it? It's just over there, up toward the top of the Forest Haven. You don't... Don't you have a telescope? I mean... Who doesn't in this day and age? So, you want to talk about bad jumping? Go play the bootleg version of Super Mario World that plays on the NES. That has the most horrendous jumping ever. And, uh... On top of that... The level design just does not work. Place the figurines in Tendo Gallery. Is this an amiibo thing? No? Okay. What is this? Figurines are OG. Okay. So wait, let me... I wasn't paying attention to what he wanted me to do. You have to hit the switch up there if you want to get down. If you had a telescope, you could probably see the switch is a real pain. A seagull. Oh! Over there. Yep, I see it. Well, it's a good thing. Where is it? This is why I bought multiple of these. This is a cool mechanic. So just collide the bird. <laughs> That's it. Hang on, I'm not done yet. I want to have a look. Oh, not allowed apparently. I want to see what else is to offer. What? Oh, no such thing as open world bird, really? It's just this little radius, alright, fine. Um, but yeah, I've always heard good things about the Mario and Luigi series. It's kind of more akin to... Uh, pa not Paper Mario. The one before Paper Mario. I mean, the original Paper Mario and, uh... It didn't come out here, this game. And it's super popular. What was it called? Ed, you know which one I'm talking about. Super Nintendo RPG Mario. That one. Super Mario RPG. What's wrong with me? <laughs> That's the name of the game. Uh, it didn't come out in Australia. So... But, yeah, I've heard good stuff about it. Welcome. Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery Figurine Palace. This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction, I hope? Ah, well, no worries. One way or the other, we've been losing members due to our lack of gimmicky attractions, but we don't worry. True fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines we have on display here have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me, the master sculptor, a pictograph that steals my breath away, you'll become a member and you'll be able to view the collection in our galleries. And won't that be nice? Do you have such a pictograph? I, I, don't, ha I don't even have the pictograph feature. But yeah, it was Super Mario RPG. That's 
the name, but I, uh, neglected to mention. Um, are you gonna give me a pictograph? So, you were a member this whole time. Awesome, and hey, thanks to you, I got in as a member too. Check it out, I gave this guy a pictograph and he gave me a figurine in return. Talk about cool. What's on the lower screen? Sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll come back to it later. I mean, I don't have what he wants. Even if I had the camera, I, I don't have what he wants, so. What is this? Oh, my boat is here. Shattered knees. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. You must set sail immediately. All right. Um. Right, wrong one. There we go. Nor oh, conveniently, it's already in that direction. The Toads are always funny in the RPG series. They have a lot more character than Mario 64 and uh, like any of the other mainline ones. They just seem to be more quirky in the RPG games. Like in the Origami King, it was pretty funny. The Toads in that one. Particularly the, the one that um, tries to give you a bargain deal on the the boot car. After your friend tragically uh, sacrificed himself, he's like, Oh, I got a deal for you. Here at Toad's Automa Boots, we'll take 20% off our latest model. That's right, 20% off. And if you bring your dead friend's body, we'll take an extra 30% off. Ends Friday. That's right. All right, it didn't really happen that way, but that's how it felt. It was like very soon, and then this dude's trying to sell me a boot. Like, could not see that we were in mourning. You had to get the Black Friday 3DS with the bomb on the back for your boy Bobby. Yes. Rest in peace, Robert O. Bombingtons. Good morning. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here is your letter. Cried when he died. Actual tears. It was so. so it was so sudden. I. I mean. When when I get shocked, sometimes my response is just like I'll laugh in a nervous way. So like. <laughs> I, I I couldn't believe they did it. It was so dark, like, I can- I can imagine being a child and playing that game and just... A character that you get attached to being so friendly and wanting to be courageous and then that happens. <laughs> like, man. Dear Link, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I- I am indebted to you. I'm very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. 
Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May fortune fill your wings from Kamali's father. Oh no, like literally a piece of heart. You texted your coworker a warning in case she got that game for her kids. And she was like, yeah, that'd fuck up your youngest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the saddest thing I experienced in a video game as a kid was, uh, like Final Fantasy. You know, the, the big thing that happens in that game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. I mean, it was, it was sad, but it was also annoying that you kind of, you know, if you didn't know, <laughs> you would put effort into this character and then it'd be like, oh. Oh no. Wait, how do I crawl? There we go. It was weird, it wouldn't register. Another recent one was, uh... I didn't experience this myself. Uh, because for some reason, I don't think the, the quest loaded. But I did watch it, uh, someone else playing through it on Twitch, and, uh, it was in Elden Ring, so there's, like, a... I mean, everyone calls him Pot Guy, but a dude that's, like, a literal pot, and, you know, your introduction to him is very comedic, and you kind of become rivals slash friends with the dude. So, you know, I did this, and I guess I never got the, the end part of that quest. But more or less, you know, something sad really happens. Let's just say that, and, uh... I'm kind of glad I didn't experience it firsthand. It was just one of those, oh no, shocking moments. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem. This cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel, away with you. Away, I say. Why, why is there a butler picture on the door? There's a chest up there, that's... But I don't think I can get up there. Yep. The only game that got you emotional was the very beginning of The Last of Us 1. Oh, I'm going to be playing that this year. Hey, it's a Korok. Tree is withering. Oh, we can fix that. Oh, wait, no, I can't. That's not what I was trying to- wrong bottle. Um, uh, I have to get rid of the potion that I bought. Do I get rid of the potion to save this tree? Alright. What a waste. I have- I have the game sitting on my desk. I was supposed to play- Oh, did it really not- Did it really not fix it? <laughs> I need water from the forest, it's time. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I I'm definitely doing this now. So we went, uh... But look, yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, I used the potion, so I'm damn well doing this right now. Um, we we're headed northwest, and now we gotta head southeast. But yeah, people have been telling me to play The Last of Us for years, and I was going to last year. But then they just had to announce a remaster for PS5, so... I have that now. Wait. There we go. So, yeah, I will be playing that. Definitely this year, it's happening. 
Probably a good time to do so as well, because people are getting into it again because of the TV show. So... <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, look. <laughs> these, these are the things in the short term that I need to get through, okay? I need to get through the Zelda games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Kirby is tomorrow. I'm 100% playing Kirby. Metroid Prime, the remaster, is like the week after. Because the physical copy will be coming in. So that pretty much covers, I'd say, the first half of March. Then I have, I'm going to play like the new Yakuza game that's set in the past. So that's another one. So I feel like realistically I won't get to The Last of Us until like... No, but I can't, e I can't even do it in May because that's when Tears of the Kingdom comes out. It would have to be after the Tears of the Kingdom. Google says 14 hours. Oh, it's only 14 hours long. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but like... Is that 14 hours with someone good playing it or 14 hours like worst case scenario? You know? I can't believe I have to come back to this, <laughs> this wretched island. Just smash it out on the weekend? I mean, uh, maybe after Metroid. <laughs> 29 hours for completionists. Oh, I won't be doing completionists, I guess. More of like, for someone that grew up with Zelda 1 and tends to overcomplicate the simplest of things. But then is very good at finding out obscure secrets. And, uh, this is timed as well, right? Oh boy. That doesn't make- what happens to this water that makes it timed? Ah, and I see a, a treasure spot over there, too. Don't actually think it's possible to 100% The Last of Us in a single playthrough. Oh, because it, like, has a branching story arc or something? I mean, I know multiple people are going to enjoy me playing that one. And I really did want to do it for Halloween last year, for the record. I really did. Just, they just had to go announce the remake. That's all. I bought, I bought the PS4 version of that game for $4. The physical copy of it. I, it was at, um, what was it? I think it was PAX, but... Okay. So wait, just anywhere here? There we go. 30 minutes. Wait, like, real life 30 minutes, or...? Well, I guess we can see. I, I, I don't think it'd be 30 minutes, but it wouldn't be 30 seconds. There's no way it's 30 seconds. Oh no, it's actually 30 minutes. Oh. Well, this is fine, then. I think for this island it's not a pain, but I imagine for the other ones it will be. I just want to experience it, because, you know, I've heard stuff about it, so... Wait! Did, I didn't change it, did I? That way. I'll I'll get to it. You glad it did Ghost of Tsushima on PS5? Watch PS4 game gameplay and it does not look good at 30 FPS. Oh yeah, no. I mean. That was one I put on the back burner, but I was interested in, but I'm glad I did, because they did come out with a PS5 version. And... 
I've been really interested in, uh... The, well, there's a few games, right? That I've been expecting that they were going to do a PS5 enhanced version, but they haven't. One of them in particular is Bloodborne. Because that would be really good to get a PS5 version. Kind of like Demon's Souls. Had fun with that, and I... A lot of that collection that they made PS4 games available for free for PS5, uh, PS Plus owners, they were optimized for PS5, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe they're doing it for Bloodborne, and they still haven't. They probably won't at this point. But, yeah, I mean, I'm taking a bit of a break from hard games for a while. I will get back to it. I, ha I have a couple of ideas I want to do this year, but they won't be starting anytime soon. You poured forest water on it, but it still has not recovered all of its vigor. Thank you very much, Swordman. You must find seven more of my fellow Koroks. If you pour that forest water on all of our trees, then the trees will surely grow strong again. But remember, in just 2745, the water you have will turn into plant. No! Oh, no! Are you- are you- are you telling me that I have to find all of them in half an hour? <laughs> but I only know where the one is. Yep. Ah, this was- all. Well, this was a waste of time. <laughs> no- there's no way I'm gonna find the other ones in 27 minutes. This is one of these things where you would know where they are, and then you go do it. But finding one, and then being like, alright, I guess I'll go search for the rest of them. Yeah, it, that's not happening. Alright, we're sailing to the next island. That poor tree is just gonna wither, I guess. I don't like the silence. Uh, hold on. Just a sec. Much better. You know, surprisingly, it fits in pretty well. I noticed the music was about to start up again. Oh, that's no, a pirate ship! Pirate ship! We're getting, we're getting on this base. Let's see what it is. Oh. <laughs> oh no, not again. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be a stealth mission. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Yeah, it's weird that there's no music at night. I don't know. It's off-putting. I see a fish jumping in the corner over there. Wait, what's the point of this? 
There doesn't appear to be anything here. This floating pirate citadel that doesn't appear to have anything. Go. Oh, the music stopped again. Oh, I can't just run into them. Wait, what? Are, I didn't. I didn't do anything. Was this just a trap? <laughs> just murdering each other. All right. There's no fish here. I'm just gonna keep going. Oops, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Priorities. Oh. <laughs> I'm already carrying the max. I mean, I didn't know it was going to be that. So I guess in order to do the, the tree thing, I would need a very accurate sea chart so I know where all the islands are. Why did the water become all weird? I should be able to ram that boat and shark without any repercussions, but no. Uh, this... Is that Tingle's house? On the topic of Tingle, I looked up the DS game. And that game is expensive. <laughs> Why is the Tingle game so expensive? It's, I'm guessing because it didn't sell well. And so now it's rare, but it does look like an interesting game. Oh. I don't like the noises they're making. Never even heard of them. I remember vaguely hearing about them. They're like an RPG, and a, a very weird one at that. Oh, Mr. Fairy. I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Next time, bring me one of my favorites. A chart I haven't seen yet. Please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me at Tinkle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. Um. I do have a... How do, but I do have charts, though. 
Hang on, I got him on the bottom screen. This map isn't open. Maybe it's different to the ones I have. Alright. What are they doing here exactly? What is this ominous tower where he, ha he has like a workforce doing something? Do I want to know? Oh look, it's the fish. Go to the fish. How do I interact with fish? Oh, bait. Bait, 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 bait. Yeah. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island? Then start by opening up your sea chart. Okay. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes to time to pay his deciphering fee, you better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Who doesn't have a deep wallet? Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. That's all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water. Alright. Very ominous music. I hope I'm headed in the right direction. Wait, according to this, the island is this way. Did the wind change? I think it did. Okay, hang on. Yeah. So now, uh, hold on. It needs to be that way. There's nothing I can do to deal with the sharks. <laughs> They're just following me. Okay, but we're, we're on course now. Go away! I think it's gone. <laughs> it won't go away. Okay, but uh, yeah, that, that looks correct. Just a massive swirling weather pattern on that island, it's fine. Hey. Look, Link. Do you see it? What happened to this place? Brightfish Isle. What is the meaning of this? 
the island it is. We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabun once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh there, Link! So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jabun? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken for Fortress. Fear not. Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what? I do not know. If you wish to see Jibun, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked you, asked me to bring word of Jabun to do you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is your decision. I have told you of Jabun, so my task is complete. So Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for him there? I would imagine there's nothing for me to do here. So. Um. Where is Windfall? Dragon Roost, Windfall Island. Okay, so we're heading northeast. Yeah, this place doesn't look very welcoming. We might be back one day. <laughs> But for now... We'll take a while to get there. I have heard uh, that one of the biggest complaints of this game is this aspect is just the sailing from island to island, and that it's pretty much just this empty void. But I mean, it's it's a GameCube game. It's like couldn't really have done much with it. Oh, treasure spot coming up. missed it apparently hang on I gotta turn back
It is very precise. There's got to be an easier way to know this. Why does it have to vanish? Dude. <sighs> like, am I really going after sound alone? There we go. Sound is the biggest indicator. Yeah, it's not. It's not the best. But it's not even worth my time. I don't have the. I don't have the space for the money. How do I get rid of the shark? I'm. I. I don't want the shark anymore. Is there a way for me to murder the shark? It's, it's just been harassing me this whole time and I'm, I'm kind of fed up with it. No? Oh, I see. Okay. It's just something that perpetually chases you forever. Go away! So annoying. Fair enough if you can't get rid of it. I mean, can't murder it, but it gives up after like maybe 30 seconds of pursuit. But this has been here the entire time. Okay, I think it's gone. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link. I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. <laughs> I love this face. This is just perfect. Perfect. Summarizes how I feel about that shark. Okay, well... I'm saving it in case it's not obvious. It's been real, chat. It's a good stopping point. We will pick this up again tomorrow. I played this for about a solid five hours today, so yeah. Good night. Well, I'm not going to sleep. I'm actually going to play Diablo, but not on Twitch. <laughs> I'm just going to play Diablo. 
But I mean, if anyone's interested, I'll, I am recording it. I'm just gonna put it on Discord if anyone wants to watch. But otherwise, yeah. I'm just gonna play Diablo for a little bit before bed. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching everyone, especially if you're uh, new to the stream. Appreciate you popping in and checking out the content. While I'm offline, if you wanna find me elsewhere, YouTube's the best place to go. Just search for the channel name. I have three channels over there, one for highlights, another one for past streams, and another one where I'm just streaming there every now and then, so yeah, just search for the same channel name as here. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, yeah, appreciate you for watching, and if you wanna do any sort of the algorithm stuff, it would help out a lot. <laughs> okay. And on that note, yeah, uh, if anyone wants to watch, I'll be playing Diablo on Discord, because it's kind of grindy, so I'm just going to be kicking back there. But otherwise, be back tomorrow, so we'll do more of this. Having a lot of fun with it. Alright, chat. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time. <laughs>